Hi again then guys, and so we've got another updated Gran Turismo 6 top speed tune for you today. And this time it's for a pretty popular car, but one which arguably doesn't really reach its true potential, unfortunately, on Gran Turismo 6. And that's the 2013 Viper. Now this updated tune works for both the 2013 GTS and the launch edition, they're both exactly the same. So I'd recommend having racing soft tyres. The brakes, I've increased the rear balance to 6, but that's personal preference, you don't have to do that. For the suspension, we've got the ride height as low as possible at the back, as high as possible at the front, because this car actually copes with that very, very well. Springs we've reduced to 625 and 7. For compression on the dampers, you want the maximum. And for extension and anti-roll, as low as possible. Neutral camber and tow. For the gearbox, you want to give this car a gearbox flip, so take your auto setting up to 298, then take your final drive all the way up to 5, then come back to the auto setting, click it down and up a peg, back to 298. Then you'll be able to hit these individual gears of 2, 1225, 850 and 725 primarily. You don't really use 5th and 6th with this tune. And then we've put the final drive down to 2.3, but I would encourage you to mess around with the gears a bit more, find what works best for you. For the diff, we've got the lowest initial torque, highest acceleration, and a braking sensitivity of 20. You want all of your power upgrades, obviously, and I will be using NOS on this run to show you what it can do top end. And obviously, you want the full weight loss package. I would recommend having a manual box for this car to get the best out of it. And traction control, as always, I would recommend turning off. Now, this tune doesn't make the car ridiculously quicker than it already was. The car already did about 280 under its own power, now it does about 282, so it's not a massive increase, but it does that in third gear instead of in sixth. Obviously the low end acceleration isn't quite as strong, but let's face it, in most online races you're going to be slipstreaming people anyway off the line, so low end acceleration doesn't really matter all that much in most Special Stage Route X races. Unless, of course, you've got the slipstream turned off. In which case, to be fair, it makes no difference because you're going to lose in this car anyway just because it doesn't have the top speed regardless of how you tune it. With draft turned on, though, you can win with this car because it certainly has the power and the torque to get great draft. For some reason, though, as I said, it just doesn't have the cruising speed that it deserves. Now, I've hit the NOS now, of course, as you can see. Now, fourth gear on this tune, and by extension fifth and sixth, but not so much, is purely for drafting. I would not recommend putting it into fourth for cruising. As you can see, you can get up to around 300. It won't get much higher than that with NOS. It just sits there, nice low revs to get more torque, so that when you do get into draft, you can absolutely fly with this car in draft. It will get easily up around 330, 340, especially if you use NOS. And it actually handles itself really, really well on the curve. Now, as soon as you run out of NOS or come out of draft and start dropping in speed, I'd recommend slapping it back down into third as quickly as possible. Cruising speed, as I said, is 282. I've not seen anyone really get any better than that, to be honest, out of this car. I'm sure there are some people who could get maybe 285, 286. Maybe I'm just missing something with this car. But for some reason... Like with the SRT10 Coupe, it just doesn't deliver on the potential that it has. It's nowhere near as quick as you'd expect it to be, especially for a premium model of what is already a very fast car. The Vipers are very, very strong top speed racers. But for some reason, this car just doesn't really measure up to all of the other Vipers. As I said, though, with this tune, or with my existing tune, to be honest, it can certainly win races. And this tune is primarily more for draft, whereas my other tune does give you slightly better low-end acceleration. So it depends what you need. This isn't so much a better tune, it's just a different tune. Top speed is slightly better though, which is to be noted. Overall then, if you decide to use this updated tune, of course I hope you find it helpful and of course competitive. And if you're new to the channel and would like to keep up with tunes like this as soon as they come out, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, Thanks for watching.
Thank you.